Hey guys, I am here in sunny San Diego this morning where uh, Nicole and I are here for a conference. Um, for uh, It's uh, with Amy Porterfield, it's called the Entrepreneurial Experience and it's like about a thousand women entrepreneurs um, and it's just amazing, so much fun. And uh, I wanted to shoot out this video for Lori uh, who asked me this morning about her knees. So first off, Lori, congratulations on losing 60 pounds. That's amazing. And you, I sh truly hope you feel really, really proud of yourself because you should. So Lori asked a question about doing squats and that her knees really bother her when she does squats. They're kind of loud. I know how that feels. My knees are kind of loud too. Um, they don't hurt though. Uh, so here's the thing about knees. They're stuck in the middle between your foot and your hip and they have no place to hide. So the best way to go about being able to exercise and not worry about hurting your knees or being able to do anything like, you know, doing yard work or uh, going up and down the stairs, anything without it bothering your knees is to look at what's going on in your hips. It really control the hips control pretty much everything. So whenever there's back pain or knee pain, we look at the hips um, because they really are uh, the thing where you can gain the most mobility and stability, uh, and it's the place where we often lose it. So I want to give you a couple of ideas, Lori, about what to do, and anybody who's concerned about their knees, how you can keep moving and how you can. Um, make your body be a little bit more efficient while you're doing it, okay? So, I'm gonna set up the camera, my phone. Isn't technology amazing? So, I'm gonna set this up so you can see what I want you to try. All right, so this is for anybody who's worried about their knees, if their knees are loud, if they're sore, um, if you like Lori and you're on a mission to keep getting healthier, this is what, this is something that you can do. So I'm going to show you what most of us do when we squat. So most of us, our knees really drive forward. And it's not that that's a terrible thing. It's just that it puts a ton of pressure on your knee. So what we really want to absorb the squat is we want your butt to stick out, right? I mean, I'm out here on the beach. Ah! <laughs> I think I better back it up. I almost lost my phone. Okay. So, I don't care what I look like. I think it's been established now. So, I don't mind looking a little silly if it's gonna help my knees and my back feel better. So this is the, what we want to happen when you're going to reach down and pick stuff up. So one thing that I tell a lot of people with knee pain is let's just start getting your feet kind of wide be a little bit soft in the knees and all we're going to do to start with is just bend forward okay so i'll stand this way so you can see there's relatively nothing happening in my knees it's all happening in my hips and i'm just getting them warmed up to do that so we'll do that let's do that like 10 times so we'll do about five more of those and if you're watching this get up off your chair and do it with me all right, so that's one, that's a start. And you can do that when you get up first thing in the morning, you can do that when you get out of your chair, just to get your hips ready to help your knees, okay? So the next thing is you're just gonna do the same thing. I'm still sticking my butt way out, but I'm gonna start to cross over, okay? So just get into those hips. Oh, look who's here. I'm making a video for Lori, whose knees hurt. Hello, Lori, Hi. whose knees hurt. <laughs> All right, so that's it. You stick your butt right out. Don't be afraid to stick your butt out. It's okay, all right? So that's super simple, and it, it, it has to be simple if we're gonna do it. So Lori, try that when you get up from sitting. And we all sit too much. So that would be a nice break for when you get up um, 
from being, uh, you know, at the computer or whatever it is we're doing, we all sit too much. And that's just a super simple way. If you did that, like, five times a day, every time, just make it a habit. Every time you get up from sitting down, you're like, oh, Mama wants me to do this stupid thing, but it's really gonna help, okay? So you're sticking your butt out, you're gonna go up and down, up and down. That's a great start. And we'll post another video to keep that moving, but it's gotta be simple, it's gotta be doable, and this is a great place to start. All right, good luck with it.